I am Teacher Roan, your English to Teacher. Come and let's learn English together. Before we start, let's set some virtual class rules. Number one, focus on the video. Number two, listen attentively. And number three, participate actively. Use the comment box if it is needed. Hello kids! Welcome back to our English class. Are you ready for our new lesson today? That's great! Our objective, identify and discuss the elements of a story such as theme, setting, characters, and events. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's try to answer this activity. Read each description below. Then, choose the element of a story that is being described. Number 1. The things that happened in the story are called blank. What do you think? Is it characters, settings, events, or theme? Type now your answer in the comment box. And the correct answer is events. Number two, it tells when and where the story takes place. Is it characters, settings, events, or theme? And the answer is settings. Number three, these are the persons or can also be animals acting in the story. Is it characters, settings, events, or theme? The answer is characters. Lastly, number four. This is the message of the author of the story that he or she wants to share with the readers. What do you think is this? Is it characters, settings, events, or theme? And the correct answer is theme. How many correct answers did you get? Now, let's get started. A story is made up of four elements. These are the following. Number one, characters. Number two, settings. Number three, events. And number four is the theme. Now, let's talk about these elements one by one. Characters. These are the persons or can also be animals acting in the story. Let's have an example. In the story Swimmy, the character is Swimmy, the little fish. Next element is the settings. It tells when and where the story takes place. For an example, in the story Swimmy, the setting is under the sea. Number three is the events. These are the things that happened in the story. For an example again, in the story Swimmy, this is one of the events. One bad day, a very hungry tuna came, swimming fast through the waves. He swallowed all the little redfish. Only Swimmy escaped. And lastly, the fourth element is the theme. This is the message of the author of the story. 
that he or she wants to share with the readers. For an example, in the story Swimmy, the themes are Be Courageous, The Importance of Teamwork, and Cooperation. Again, the four elements of a story are Characters, Settings, Events, and Theme. Now, let us have some activities to test your learning about elements of a story. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's do this. Read the story and answer the questions that follow. The title of our story is, Oops, It's My Turn, an excerpt by Dali Soriano. It was Sunday after breakfast. Papa was reading the newspaper when Mama said, Papa, please check out the movie guide. Let's watch a movie with the children. Yippee! My sister and I shouted. Mama said, You've been good this week. We will give you a treat. At the cinema, Papa went to line up while we waited at the site. When it was Papa's turn to buy the tickets, a teenager broke into the line and went right in front of Papa. Oops, it's my turn. You just came. Please go to the end of the line, Papa told him. But I'm in a hurry, answered the teenager. I'm sorry. But these people in line came before you, explained Papa. The teenager's face turned red. He went to the end of the line. Papa bought four tickets and we went into the cinema. Why did you not let the teenager go first, Papa? I asked. It was not fair to all those who waited. We must always remember to stay in line and wait for our turn. He answered. Yes, Papa, we will always remember, I replied. Now let's try to answer the following questions. Number one, who are the characters in the story? A. Teacher and students. B. Papa, Mama, Sister and I. Or C. The Sons and Daughters. And the correct answer is letter B. Papa, Mama, Sister, and I are the characters in the story. Number two, where did the story happen? A. In a restaurant. B. At the cinema. Or C. In the church. And the answer is letter B at the cinema. Number three, when did the story happen? A, Sunday, B, Saturday, or C, Friday? And the correct answer is letter A, Sunday. Number four, what did the teenager do at the cinema? A, the teenager bought snacks. B, the teenager patiently waited in buying ticket. Or C, the teenager broke into the line. What do you think is the correct answer? And the correct answer is letter C. The teenager broke into the line. Last question. 
What is the message of the story? A. Be patient. Wait for your turn. B. Be courageous. Or C. Be gentleman. And the correct answer is letter A. Be patient. Wait for your turn. How many correct answers did you get? Good job, kids! You really did well today! Always remember, a story is made up of four elements. These are the following. Characters, settings, events, and theme. You may now answer the activities in your module that your teacher will give. Again, I am Teacher Roan and here's our quote of the day by Garrison Keillor. A book is a gift you can open again and again. Till our next lesson kids, goodbye!